All right, in this video, we are upgrading uh, one of my workstations to a Be Quiet uh, peer loop from a Be Quiet AIO. So you're in the right place if you're looking to upgrade your computer. We're going to do this on the fly. So stoked to be doing this live. Thank you to Be Quiet for sending this over for the upgrade. I love their products. I like, there's just no explanation on how easy they are to install. And, you know, we're going to prove that here in a moment, how the quality, um, the customer service, be quiet stuff is truly quiet and, and awesome. And then after this, I've actually already run benchmarks on the air cooler. And then once I get it installed, I'm going to run benchmarks on the peer loop. And we're going to see which one would be a good purchase for you. Should you get the air cooler or should you get the be quiet peer loop for optimal cool performance? All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're going to, to unbox it and then we're going to start um, by getting it out of the box and installed. Forgive me if you hear a bit extra noise because of you know the mic being right here, but this is live and on the fly. And make sure you have uh, a little bit of thermal paste available. If you're doing a swap, make sure you have some uh, isopropyl alcohol and some cotton swabs so you can clean off your CPU of the old thermal paste, have thermal paste ready some metallic, metallic, some magnetic trays. Um, and then of course I have a iFixit toolkit. All this will be in the description below and those are affiliate links if you're curious. First and foremost, what I love about Be Quiet's gear is that they use the same install bracket. So I won't have to pull, this, pull the motherboard out to switch to an AIO. I am so stoked about that. So that's great there. Um, and then here's our coolant. Got to have our coolant right there. I'm just going to throw the trash that way. Have our two, fa two fans. Our actual radiator right here. I'm going to keep that in there to protect it for the moment. Put that bad boy there. And then these are all of our fastenings and screws and such. Man, that is a good looking thing. Throw that way over there. All right. Now, the first order of business would be to remove the air cooler. Okay, so that's what we want to do first. Let's see how the stream's doing here. Everything looks good so far. All right, cool. So the first thing we want to do is remove the air cooler from the box, a.k.a. the PC build. So let's see if I can put this down here without breaking anything. All right, perfect. Okay, so we have a Be Quiet. I think this is a... This isn't a Dark Rock 4. I think this is just a Dark Rock, if I'm not mistaken. I'll link the correct one in the description below. It's been a hot minute since um, I put this bad boy in here. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the... Oop, my head's in the way. Oop, my head isn't in there. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off here. the fan header out and then I'm just gonna actually I don't even need to pull that off I don't know what I'm doing I should know what I'm doing I'm doing this right so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fan header off real quick and then from there we should be able to jump right into installing the other cooler so this should be a super painless process honestly actually, I may need to pull that yeah I need to pull, pull this fan off these things are just a little these little wire, um, the one things that hold the fan on are just a little finicky. And by finicky, I just mean they take a little bit of effort. There we go. So those hold the fins on there. Get this one off. Like so. There we go. All right, we're good. So we'll pull this fan out. Bam. That fan has to come out so I can access this screw right in there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll pull this out. One thing that's great about an air cooler is the ease of install. So literally one, two screws, and this thing is already out. That's what I really like about an air cooler. Okay, the, the negative aspects of a... Um, 
of an AIO, excuse me for the noise, the negative aspects of the AIO is the difficulty of install. And the thing is like, this is slightly more affordable, but the Pure Loop 240 is actually down to around like a hundred bucks from give or take time of purchase prices change. Um, but the cool thing is like air coolers are affordable and they're very easy to install two screws. Like you're in the AIOs, as you'll see are a bit more on the complicated side. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start the install process. And to make sure I do it right, I'm actually going to follow the directions so I go step by step in the right way. So the first thing that they're wanting us to do is install the bracket, which has already been installed, which is awesome. So the bracket's the first thing that we're supposed to do. And then from there, uh, let's see, it looks like we build, uh, we put the fans onto the radiator. Okay. And it looks like the hose comes off the top. So we mount the fans on the side of the hose. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to push this. Actually, I'm going to take this completely out of the way. <clears throat> push this down here. Here we go. Grab this guy here. We can leave that bag on because that'll kind of protect, protect that. And then we want to mount the fans to these spots. Okay. So now we got our two fans, one fan, let's see, there's, okay, perfect. There's that. All right. Now I want to make sure I'm mounting the fans the correct way. So I want to mount them with the label up. Okay. Mount it there. Okay. looks good. So one fan will go there and then the other fan will go right behind it. Let's grab some of our screws that we need. Oh, it even comes with thermal paste. So you don't actually have to buy thermal paste unless you want to. Um, this does come with thermal, it's perfect. So you don't want to screw our cord into the actual fan. That would not be good. So we'll line that up there, perfect. Okay, Get the first one tightened down just a little bit just to keep it secure. And these are really easy. That's what I like about Be Quiet stuff. The directions are very clear. No offense to other brands, um, but I did a NZXT install and it was very, very confusing. The directions, for some reason, were just not straightforward. They gave you like this really big, like fold out treasure map pamphlet. Um, and I just really was not digging it. These directions from Be Quiet are very visual, very simple. Um, great work from Be Quiet on on their directions and install process. And honestly, like my video, you know, I'm doing this video right now, which is awesome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching it. Um, but they actually have install videos, which are very helpful. Um, so that's, that's a cool thing about be quiet as they've got a lot of great content as well. And they work with people like myself and I'm not going to lie. I love that they work with me on some of these projects. Okay. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and make sure that both cords are kind of running out the same direction here. So I'll do that one there. So let's go drop these screws in. My screwdriver. Okay, one, two. Perfect. And then this last two. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Amazing all the songs that you start singing once you have children. Just becomes all all fun songs, all bedtime songs and play songs. Forget all the other things. All right. So now that that's in, now we're going to go ahead and install the radiator on the top, the top of the um, case. So actually this is turning out so far, knock on wood, to be easier than I anticipated. Um, especially, like I said, compared to the... Um, the NZXT one, which honestly probably would have been easy if they had good directions. Okay, so there's that. Now what I'm gonna do, let's see how I can do this. I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna kind of do this blind just so you guys can see, okay? Um, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this off and we're gonna say a prayer here to make sure that this is all possible, okay? So there's that. Let's get all these cords untwisted. Okay. So the first thing we want to do then is now install this. Oops, it's sticking to the top. Okay. So uh, we want the AIO facing away from the back of the panel. So 
be like so. Pull my top panel off there. So you can kind of see what's going on up top here. What we're going to do is we're going to slide this in place here, and then we're going to fasten it down with the screws like so. So let's start by grabbing a couple screws here. I just want to get like the first few in place like so. Good, you can see that. This is not the easiest thing to do with one hand, um, but we're making it work. All right, we got one. Let's go ahead to the other corner. Whoop. Okay, that was not what we were looking to happen. Let's try that again. One, and then here's two. So I'll slip that there. Come with my other hand over here. And then drop that right in there. All right. In business. Move that one slightly over. Let's get that locked in. All right, so that's good. So now we're locked into place. Got the got it in place there. So as you see, we are now mounted up top with this hanging down because this is going to swing right. Oh my gosh, that's going to swing right into place there. And the Be Quiet logo will be facing up, and that'll look fabulous. Okay. So let's mount these last few screws up top here, and then we will keep moving forward. So we got one here. One. Two. Three. Okay, I'll stop counting, I promise. And I know you guys are hanging in there with me. I know this is live, so this would take longer if I, you know, if I wasn't doing this live, I'd just be like, all right, now it's installed. But you guys are hanging here with me uh, on the live stream, so I really appreciate that. And then last one right there. All right, so that looks good. Okay. So all that looks good. So in here we have all of our mounting brackets and stuff. Um, but since we already have the mounting bracket on there, what we need out of this bag is these screws and these screws are no no we're doing intel so these screws right here should be those but i'm not sure we'll figure it out i think these are actually the screws in here so we'll get that figured out in a second okay now the next step would be to we're going to clean off the application area and then reapply some thermal paste and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to lay this down. Like so. Okay. Now we can see inside of this joker and I'm going to go ahead and clean off the thermal paste and get all this ready to go. Got all these cords running everywhere, but we'll get that solved here soon. Got this, that was for there. Sorry about my head in the way. Big old wop of hair. Wafting hair, as they say. Okay, so now I'm going to get my isoprobic, al isopropyl alcohol and cotton swab. And we're going to clean this bad boy up. How long are we going? 15 minutes. I think we can get this done in 20 We'll go ahead, clean this up, and we just want to kind of use the alcohol to break it up. We don't want to kind of rub it a bunch, so just get a little bit off at a time. You don't need to be, because otherwise you're going to run it all over the motherboard or 
over the CPU plate and you don't want to put too much liquid on this. Obviously, this is a drying agent. That's why you want to use alcohol rather than like something like Windex, for instance. Um, so alcohol is really good because it's a drying agent um, and it breaks apart the uh, thermal paste very, very easily. So this is the best, best stuff to use. Because you don't want your parts in here to get all wet. And if this does, you know, somehow get a little bit of a, of a drip for any reason, um, it's a drying agent, as I've said like five times already. And so that'll dry nicely and it won't hurt your parts too much. <clears throat> you won't hurt your parts, man. Ain't gonna be hitting your parts. All right, um, now what we wanna do, let's see, oh, sweet. We already have the screws there. That's awesome. So there's where our screws are. If you can see that, the screws are already mounted into the... So take that off. Don't leave that on. That would be bad news bears. Okay, and now let's apply some thermal paste. I always recommend a dollop in the center, just like a pea-sized dollop in the center of your... There we go, center of your CPU. So we're going to go ahead here, and this this is an Arctic. I mean, obviously, they sent some with it, but this is Arctic thermal paste. You can get this for like 12 bucks, and it'll last. I've done like six PC builds with this one thing of thermal paste, and it's lasted all of those no problem. Okay, there we go. P size dot in the middle, P as in the vegetable, middle of the CPU. Okay, now from here, let's make sure we have this where we want it, because as soon as it goes on, we're going to want to lock it in place okay now the only thing that i'm now seeing is if i want this to look extra pretty i'm probably going to want to um turn this because it's, we want it to go on like that so we're going to take a, a quick a quick detour and we're going to move these guys okay so we're going to pull these up here this We want these to go across, um, so that way the, the be quiet symbol shows up really nice and pretty. It's not all out of whack. Okay. So now, all right, now I'm going to go reference the directions again real quick here, and we're going to see which way these face. Okay, they face in. Okay, so we want them pointing in a little bit. So, okay. this. Sorry, my hair keeps getting in the way. Go. Be aware of your thermal paste. So just so you know, like this is live and in concert, I just kind of sent my thermal paste flying, which is okay, but you know, not the best thing in the world. If you could, you know, have thermal paste not go everywhere, that'd probably be optimal. But you know, what do you do? So now let's go ahead and grab the Intel plates. Like so set them into position.
All right, make sure they're good and secure. Now we're going to swing this around, make sure everything matches up correctly before we go and press down. That looks right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and evenly press down on the plate. That way when we put it on, we don't move too much because we don't want to smear the thermal paste around any more than uh, we already have. So that one. Trying to get this now to line up just right. There we go, got it. Okay, and we don't want to press down too hard. We just want it good and snug, like so. Get it pressed down too hard. Um, you just you don't want to comp compress your your CPU too much. Okay, now let's go ahead and keep moving forward here to our handy dandy instruction manual. So once it's secure. Go ahead, that's that, it's that, thermal paste, yada yada. Um, refilling the system. Top of the system after about two years of use. Okay, so we're supposed to top off the system. Um, should use earth, filling the port, opposite side. Okay, so it apparently already has fluid in it. Forgive me if you already knew that, but I didn't. So now let's go ahead and get all of our pumps plugged in. Um, AIO pump goes right here on my motherboard. There we go. And Another one right here. While I'm doing this, you don't need to look at my head. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna find all of where our pumps go in. So it looks like we have, you know, I'm curious if we have a, a dongle. This is really what would save our lives. I'm hoping they've provided us with a dongle. And I think they have. Okay, yep, this is it right here. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So what we wanna do is we're gonna take both of our, um, fan power, so to speak. Plug these in, okay? And we'll get all this cord organized nice and neat later, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna plug this into this one here. Which of course is like the hardest fan to ever plug into, classic. there and then we're gonna take this one and this one which is the three and three and this is three and three put these guys here and then this is actually gonna hook into SATA power which is awesome so we're gonna go ahead and power this by putting it through the back of the system so we're gonna go ahead stand this up I'm going to send the SATA power through the back of the system, and that'll power up all the others. Let me go ahead. 
head. And so on the back of it, see here, we're gonna do this screw and this screw here. That way we can access the rear of the computer. Like so. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put this through. some SATA power, which should be right there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, got that hooked up to SATA power in the back there. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> get this thing plugged in and see if we can fire it up and see if we got the fans working and everything's Hunky dory, as they say. I don't know who says that, but some people say it. Go. Okay. And three, two, one. Fingers crossed. All right. And we are live and in concert. Check it out. Woo, that looks good. So we got top fans running. We have the main AIO running and everything looks really good. Okay, so that is the install process. I'm not gonna take any more of your time on this, um, but we are good to go. So we've swapped out our air cooler for an AIO. Um, in the video coming up, make sure you subscribe for that because we're gonna go test air cooler versus AIO and see which one is right for you. Um, until next time, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here on the next video.